Hello peeps and welcome back to Project Ozone 2. Alright, so I've done some stuff off camera. You probably already saw a little bit of it. Uh, the first thing I did was I propagated my redstone seeds. Uh, looking around, I can find absolutely nothing that says that growing it on blocks is any more efficient than farmland. So I have an entire field of 10, 10, 10 redstone seeds over here. Uh, harvesting this field once gives me four stacks of redstone, so good start. I did some more cleaning out of the loot bags and I expanded the capacity a little bit. And I have been upgrading this Manikio Essence. I am up to 42 Zavikios, so we're making some good headway there. I have gone ahead and built a gigantic field over here in the hopes of getting some more passive mobs to spawn. The tiny little field that I had here, I feel wasn't giving them enough room, although <clears throat> I built this thing like an hour ago and it's done nothing. And I also have set up a little field over here that I use specifically for crossbreeding. There is an agricraft sprinkler up there. On top of this is an infinite water block from Magneticraft, which is actually pretty easy to craft. If you take a look at it, infinite water block is four glass, four buckets, and a machine housing. The machine housing is four iron, a piece of stone, and four carbide, which, as we learned last episode, is just coal around tungsten. So this thing is really easy to craft. It doesn't require any water, and it doesn't require pipes. It automatically fuels whatever's next to it. So that's a nice way to keep our sprinkler system completely full. I have a mob spawner over there that spawns uh, hostels because there's a couple of drops that I need to get for something and I don't have them yet. Those drops come from spiders and, unfortunately, charged creepers. How fun is that? Um, I have gone ahead and set up my sterling generators. I have a total of 12 of them here. Each one has a bucket. Each one is configured to pull from the tanks, which are running underneath the whole way. There's fluid conduits pulling out of these, and as you can see, it's keeping up quite well. Some of them have octatic capacitors, some of them don't. I haven't upgraded all of them yet. The ones that are upgraded, though, produce 200 RF a tick and get 3.2 million out of each bucket. So, our capacitor is about half full, and we're pulling in a surplus of 1,500 RF a tick, which is pretty good because these machines are hungry as hell. Um... I did, however, drop eight energy upgrades into each one of these. This thing still uses 450 RF a tech, even with eight energy upgrades. This uses 750 with eight energy upgrades. So these things are no joke. My pulsating chipsets have finally finished crafting. I have some more steel being produced here, and over here I've got more coal coke going. I've just been storing the colco or the creosote in bottles. Unfortunately, creosote bottles only stack to 16. So, I'm gonna have to figure out something to do with that. You might also notice that my hearts are all yellow. That's because I've gone ahead off camera and crafted myself 10 red heart canisters from the red hearts that I've been occasionally getting out of the mob spawner. They, it's basically four diamonds, an apple, a bone, one of those hearts, and some aluminum for each one. You can look up the recipe. It's not that big a deal. But this episode, I have something that I want to try and get done. Now, I'm going to do a few things before we get to the meat. I did go through and do all of the casts. So we can come through and collect all of our reward bags and all of our icosahedrons. And I also completed the knapsack, which is two tough iron rods, aluminum brass, and some leather. That gives us another one of these giant chance cubes, which we are not going to play with anywhere in this dimension. OK, 
Okay, so good reward bag gives me the Aristotle disc, which I already have like 15 million of, so that's awesome. What do we do with this knapsack? I guess I put it right there. Okay, so yeah, that basically gives me access to a backpack, which... Now I have to close my inventory to get out of the knapsack, apparently. Or is there a close button over here? No, I don't see it. So I have to close my inventory to get out of the backpack. That's not a big deal. Fuel efficiency, viaducts, sky roots, sponge, more irrigation stuff, belt of water walking, glowstone glass walls, a fortune cookie, five more walruses, another speed belt, and some more viaducts. Crap, crap, and more crap. Okay, uh, do I have anything else completed? Doesn't look like it, but... Zeta? No. Okay, um, I want to get started with Applied Energistics. Now, in order to unlock the quest chain, I have to create two more... Uh, Metallurgic infusers, I think, because the quest, if we take a look in the magnetic, or the uh, mechanism thing, metallurgic, the quest here requires three metallurgic infusers, of which I've crafted one, so we just need two more. Metallurgic infusers are iron fences, steel casing, compressed iron, and osmium, so that's actually not bad. Grab my osmium. I already have steel casings in here somewhere. I made some extra ones. Did I leave them? Did I do the intelligent thing and leave them in here? Uh, nope. Doesn't look like it. Oh, yep, I did. So we'll grab those two. I'm going to need a decent amount of iron. I'll just grab a stack. Two furnaces. I thought I had a few furnaces just sitting around that I've been neglecting to use, but I don't see them anywhere, so I'll just come down and rob a stack of cobblestone from that. I've also come to the conclusion that as much as I like the cobblestone framework, I'm probably going to be upgrading it in the near future. Not the cobblestone framework itself, but my cobblestone generation capacity, because... I think we can do better. Okay, there's two more metallurgic infusers. That should complete the quest metallurgic. We're not actually going to hook these things up right now. Greater reward bag gives me stuff for better furnaces that I already have. That's amazing. And my cat is yowling in the background again. She is eternally in heat. <sighs> okay, that opened. No, that didn't open, Ada. This requires one quest to be completed elsewhere. Inscriber. The inscriber takes... Atomic Alloy. I bet it's the Atomic Alloy that it's waiting for. Which means I need to create some of the basic alloys. We'll grab some diamond. Uh, we have iron. I need to find my obsidian dust, whatever I've done with that. There it is. And for these... What was it? Epsilon? Yeah, Epsilon. Energy tablets. <clears throat> so why does it want... Okay, well, whatever. Uh, we can do that. So item speed upgrade. Looks like we just have to craft one. So it's osmium dust. We need two more redstone alloy. So I'm just going to craft up a bunch of redstone alloy. We're going to need it sooner or later anyway. 
And we need a piece of osmium dust. And can I not put osmium in the sag mill? That's a, no, that's an alloy smelter. That's why I can't do it. There's osmium dust. And I've got glass around here somewhere. I really should start closing my door when I record, except for the fact that when I do that, my cats go absolutely berserk. I'm not sure why, but Blood Moon's rising. That's awesome. Go ahead and grab some of this enriched alloy that I've made. That gets us the speed upgrade. What's the tablet take? Energy tablet is... oh, that's easy. That's real easy. I just need some redstone for that. Three of you. Two of you. Four of you. That's the enriched upgrade. For a basic reward bag. <clears throat> Falling belt. Okay. That also completed Elite Alloy, but I have to complete the quest in order to unlock. <clears throat> or I guess I don't have credit for it yet. Let's drop the speed upgrade into here and see how much of a difference that makes. It's not bad. It's not bad. I've, I discovered that you can put usually like four speed upgrades in a machine before it becomes absolutely stupid in the power requirement. Now, with the power costs changed on here, I don't know if that's going to hold true. But at the moment, power isn't really a major concern for me. Because I do have 250 million now in storage. So we'll go ahead and plug that in. 1.4k, <clears throat> 2.5k, 4.5k. But now we're producing it pretty fast. 4.5k RF a tick, so I am losing power at a pretty excessive rate at the moment. But it's worth it. Uh, we are going to need at least a couple of pieces of diamond dust. So we'll toss that in the crusher. This is using 750 RF a tick now, so that's much better. There's our alloy. Now, how much did this did it want? Just one. Easy enough. Oh yeah, that's much faster, too. That's a good reward bag. That gave me salt ore. Okay, whatever. Is that a salty joke? Uh, atomic alloy. I don't even need to create any atomic alloy because I already have some in this chest. That's a greater bag. Gave me a compact giant's chance cube. Gee, thanks. Now, did that open up? Yes, it opened up Ada. We have applied energistics open. So, we need the inscriber. <clears throat> the inscriber is two skystone blocks, a flux crystal, two sticky pistons, a steel casing, and two atomic alloy. Um, find our slime, whatever I've done with that. Thankfully, I won't have to look for this stuff for too much longer. Okay, there's my slime balls. Uh, there's my steel casing. 
I do need some Skystone. Which is acquired by taking the Skystone dust here and putting it in a stone barrel full of lava. If I recall correctly. It's been a while since I've had to do this. So we'll take our stone barrel. We're going to take that downstairs and just pop it over here next to our lava generation facility. And bucket of lava. Skystone dust. Gives you skystone blocks. Now let's make it into brick. You have to smelt it. You have skystone blocks, you have to smelt it. So, toss it in the extreme furnace. Uh, I should also have a couple of flux crystals around here somewhere that I already made up. There we go. Alright, so, now, the inscriber. We need sticky pistons, which means I need a little bit of wood. Bit of wood, bit of redstone, bit of iron. Bit of cobble. I'm just gonna make a crap ton of pistons, because I use them pretty often. Turn two of them into stickies. And that gets us our inscriber. Now, that's not enough to finish the quest. We also need an energy acceptor, because <clears throat> the energy acceptor is what allows us to give power to the inscriber. And to get that, I need some more charged certus, because I'm going to have to make a few more pieces of fluids. There we go. <clears throat> One more. It's kind of random, I think. I don't think you have to fill the thing completely to get it to charge it. Well, maybe you do. And I need some nether quartz. Should have tons of it over here. Drop our flux, drop our nether quartz, drop our redstone. Drop the charged certus again. Drop the nether quartz again. And that gave me four fluix, which can turn into a block. And the energy acceptor takes quartz glass. Oh, it only takes a flux crystal. Okay. Quartz glass is just certus quartz and glass. Somewhere around here I've got tons of certus quartz dust. Yep, there we go. That gives me the quartz glass I need. Energy acceptor. Now, let's get some conduit. Because I want to embed this into the floor. Now, what do I have? I already have power coming up through here. So, I can break that. I can pop... Actually, I can just pop the energy acceptor right there. Then I should be able to pop the inscriber on top of that, and the inscriber should get power. Okay, now, in order to, did, in order to complete this quest, I have to make the uh, inscriber patterns. So, 
the calculation press takes a certus quartz block and a block of iron. Am I seeing that right? Yeah, certus quartz block and a block of iron. Block of certus, let's just get all of our iron that we're going to need for this, because I think I'm going to need four blocks of iron total. The certus quartz block should just be four certus quartz. It shouldn't take... yeah. And then we'll grab some iron blocks. Iron block and certus quartz block. We can see it working. And there's our first press, the calculation press. The engineering press is a block of iron and a block of diamond. So this one's expensive. I know we're going to need it. So I may as well just get it out. <clears throat> I know I've got tons of diamonds. I had a shit ton on me already. Alright, block of diamond. Block of emerald, because that's going to be the next one. Block of diamond in there. That's going to get us our engineering press. The logic press is a block of gold. <clears throat> and then the silicon press... Oh. It's just silicon? So what's the emerald used for? Or is the emerald not actually used for anything? Well, that's easy. Where's my silicon? Silicon. That is all of the presses needed to complete Inscriber. Good reward bag. Cat ears and thick eyebrows. Let's do the thick eyebrows. Or no, let's do the cat ears. That seems to be more thematic for my channel. Okay, uh, I guess we don't need the block of emerald after all, so we'll break that back down into emeralds and we'll just toss it in here with the rest of them. Oh, another thing I did off camera that I completely forgot about until I just saw it. I got my four terra steel. So let's back up, go back to beta, I think it is, and unlock the terra steel quest. Come on. That's a greater bag for some more rods. Not necessarily a terrible thing. And do I have any other quests done because of that? Yes, I have Elven Portal done because of that. Another greater bag. Basic bin. Whatever. Okay. Back to Applied Energistics, because that's the meat of this episode. Ada. We need an advanced subscriber, inscriber. Which I actually want to have an advanced, advanced inscriber anyway. This takes engineering processors. Engineering processors are diamonds through an engineering surf press, silicon, and pulsating chipsets. That's why I made all of these. <clears throat> So, if we come over to the inscriber and we put in our calculation press, or no, it's our engineering press, isn't it? And we're going to give this two diamonds. One. While that runs, let's go get our silicon. 
There's one. And two. There we go. Silicon press, one. Ooh, we're doing something tricky here. No. Silicon press for silicon. Why is it not working? There's something stuck in it? Why you no work? Printed silicon requires raw silicon or silicon from Ender I.O. Do I have to have Galacticraft silicon? Crushing sand will give me the Galacticraft silicon. So let's try that. I'm going to sag some cobblestone here to get my sand. Let's run this through the crusher to get the Galacticraft silicon and see if that'll work. Man, if this is what it takes to get silicon, this is going to be kind of a pain in the ass. Let's try it. Like if I can't use the Ender IO silicon, oh no, I can't use the Ender IO silicon. Oh, that's a dirty trick. Can you only get one? Oh no. Oh well. Um. Sure, whatever. Wait, it's just use calculation? Yeah, it uses engineering. That's what I thought. Okay. So, you, you, and you will get me you. <clears throat> now, I need two hoppers. There's my hoppers. Iron. Easy enough. The two engineering processors. And you. There's the advanced inscriber. Which works basically the same way as the basic inscriber, except you can lock the slots so that automation can't pull things out. You can put five upgrades in instead of three, and you can add full stacks of stuff instead of just one at a time. So I can toss all my pulsating chipsets in there, and it'll go. Alright, that completes the advanced inscriber quest for a good reward bag. More of these damn walruses. I'm just going to start putting walruses everywhere, I swear. <clears throat> Alright. Let's come down here and get the silicon. Boing. We'll toss that in. We'll let that get going. Now what? We need a growth accelerator. Actually, we need four of them. And actually, we're not going to need four. We're going to need six. If we take a look at the growth accelerator, it takes glass cable. So we're going to have to make some glass cable. Uh, please tell me the recipe for this hasn't changed. Nope. Fluix. Quartz fiber. No. Good. The recipe for that hasn't changed. Um, I am going to want to... Well, I guess I have to get my first little bit the hard way. And I'm going to need some more glass, so we'll take my sand here and process that up real quick. I can always make more glass. I can always make more sand, so.
I can just break that back down into crystals, so that'll get me some cable. Now I have the Flux Energy connection. So what I can do is this inscriber I can break that up, and I can run a cable off of this, where I can now attach the inscriber. And back here, I can attach my charger. So I can now make the Flux crystals, or the charged Certus, a little easier. Because we're going to need a lot of this Flux. Uh, let's go ahead and make some more cable. Alright. Fluix blocks, so we're going to need... Yeah, we're going to need a bunch of Fluix blocks, which means I just basically undid what I needed to do. Uh, let's get a little bit of absolute basic automation going with this. Uh, that's a liquid transfer node. That's not going to help. I need an item transfer node. Might go rob. Nope, there we go. Item transfer node, and we'll need a hopper. Okay, so. If you put a transfer node on the side of this thing, it will not pull out a regular Certus Quartz, it will only pull out Charged. Put a hopper on the side of it, like that, you can now drop your Certus Quartz in there, and it'll pop your Certus in there, and it'll only pull out the Charged. So this is real basic automation to create Charged Certus. Uh, we're going to need, let's see, we need six blocks, and each one of these produces two. So, 4, we need 24, so we need 12 of this charged service. We'll just leave 20 of it in there for now. Alright, and the next quest is going to be circuits, formation core, logic processor, calculation processor. So we may as well get started on those. I already pulled all the silicon out of here, right? Yes. We're going to need some gold. <clears throat> oh, but we're actually going to need the results of this. So, we can't do this yet. Let's wait for... there. That's our 12. Drop. I dropped the wrong thing. No. Get out. Drop. 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 Duck. Flux gets us our six blocks. Uh, we are going to need a bit more cable, aren't we? That should be just enough cable. What am I missing? The glass. Got plenty of Certus dust at the moment. I'm just missing the glass. Should have plenty of iron on me too. Nope. Missing iron now. There's my six. And that completes this, which also unlocks the advanced growth accelerator. Basic freaking reward bag for a bunch of saplings that I don't need. The growth chamber. 
is a glass cable, a hopper, a chest. So we need another two chests. To get you. And you. You, you actually can't do this yet. I need a little bit more. Well, we'll need it. I didn't actually need to make that right there, but... There we go. More service. Or more fluids, rather. Split that up. Cable that up. And crystal growth chamber gets. Crystal growth chamber, if we're going to pop right on there. That's not exactly what I wanted to happen. But you know what? It'll work. I don't think it's going to actually put anything in there anyway. Uh, I need some more sand. So, we'll grab a stack of cobblestone out of here and run it through the sag. Sand, combined with either Certus or Fluix dust, gives you these little crystal seeds. And you put those in here, and they start growing. <clears throat> and they actually grow faster in here than they will if you use the ones in the world. So if applied it, if AE2 stuff is in here, I always make the crystal growth accelerator. I never bother with the crystal growth chambers. Or vice versa. I always make the chamber. I don't mess with the accelerators if I don't have to. Because it's just, it's so worth the extra speed increase. And the fact that you can put acceleration things in here and make it even faster. Okay, so, calculation press. <clears throat> That's going to give me U. And actually, we'll go ahead and take that out. <clears throat> we'll just do two for now. Get our logic presses. <clears throat> hmm. And then we'll toss our pulsating chipsets, our printed circuits in. And that gives me two logic circuits. And we'll toss the calculation things in there. And I need a formation core and an annihilation core. Formation core is a fluids dust, a certus quartz crystal, and a logic processor. Um... That's easy enough. I've got the Certus Dust. Or no, it's Fluix Dust, isn't it? Inventory is full. As freaking usual. Don't need these blocks of iron on me. Don't need the Osmium. Don't need this Chance Cube. Those things are just dangerous. Do need some Fluix Dust. All right, so the formation and the annihilation core both take a logic processor. They both take the fluids dust. One takes a certus quartz crystal. The other takes another quartz. And that should a uh, greater bag, a flamethrower. <laughs> what am I missing for this next quest? Oh, I need the logic and the calculation processors. So we'll take the calculation processors out, and I'll make one more logic processor. <clears throat> that completes silicon circuits. 
Can't claim it because my inventory is too full. And we'll go ahead and empty out my inventory for the moment. <clears throat> I'm going to get another stack of sand going through my crusher down here. As painful as it is burning off that much energy, I need it. <clears throat> and I actually do need it. This isn't a I don't need it. No. I need it. Basic reward bag, really? Another meteorite compass. Don't I already have one of them? Yeah, I do. Great. <clears throat> the ME Drive. We're going to get into that next episode because I am at the limit for this episode. Why are my solar panels facing upside down? Good question. Um, because it's raining. And my energy line here is saturated. Huh. Okay, anyway. That is enough for this episode, I think. So, this has been Night Dagger with Project Ozone 2. Um, next episode, we will get the ME drive installed, and we will get our first digital storage so I can start cleaning up all of the crap that I have strewn everywhere in my base. I know I'm looking forward to it. I hope you guys are too. I'll catch you later, peeps.